Hey guys, welcome to this week's high speed rail drone footage video. I know this took a while. We're starting at the Cedar Viaduct and then going all the way to the San Joaquin River Viaduct. But before we continue with the music, I wanted to show that new IPB walls have been placed between Jensen and almost up to Church Avenue. This was done since I've been at Peru, which is between July and early August probably. A lot of it has been formed and they're probably waiting for church to be done to continue forming the IPB wall. Here's Church Avenue and you can see a lot of embankment work has been done on the west side. They have now poured Golden State Boulevard with concrete. The columns are now poured and ready for girders and the right abutment wall is already formed so girders should be there really soon. Here's East Cesar Chavez Boulevard, and since I've been gone in Peru, a lot of work has been done. All of the guideway through East Cesar Chavez is done. You can see they're now pouring the side walls for the HSR portion, and it seems they're gonna expand the Union Pacific part, I'm not sure. They're saying this should be done in October, but let's see if that stays true. I wasn't here for when this opened unfortunately, but on July 31st, the California High Speed Rail Authority opened the long-awaited Tulare Street underpass, which I filmed here, and it seems like they're getting ready for guideway on top of Tulare Street, but we'll keep an eye on that. At the Fresno Trench, it seems on the south side, they are pouring two new IPB walls. And at Belmont Avenue, a lot of work has been done. You'll see it in a second. Here's Belmont Avenue, and you can see they've done a lot of utility work. They are relocating, I think, drainage for the little basin over there next to Belmont and they're using the underpass or what used to be the Belmont underpass for drainage which is a little interesting it's kind of funny but I really like that and once that's done they're going to extend the trench hopefully soon one other thing is I don't know if you noticed but they have new IPB walls they're forming as right there you can see and just a second ago, they are trying to now extend the sidewalks, which weren't there before. And new side railings, it seems, for extending the trench just north of Belmont Avenue.
here at the Golden State Boulevard realignment, you can see prep is underway, and in one second, you will see girders are finally up at McKinley Avenue. I've been waiting for this for so long, which probably means they're going to relocate Golden State Boulevard soon. You can see they are now pouring the columns on the east side of the Union Pacific tracks, and soon they're going to have to do it on the west side as well to put the remaining girders. But finally, there's been progress on McKinley. I've been waiting for so long filming this for months, and it is finally here, seeing a little bit of it come to life, which I'm really glad. A lot of work has been done at the Golden State Boulevard realignment, just north of Ashland up to Shaw Avenue. You can see they are forming a lot of guideway, finally. But the real cool thing is they've already begun work really quickly on Shaw Avenue. You can see it's going to be, I think, six columns and then the abutment wall on the west side. They've poured some of the Golden State Boulevard realignment and Shaw Avenue has been shifted north and is open for the whole time they're building the Great Separation, which is a good thing because I know traffic would be a nightmare if it's not open. But right away, they're already working. I'm so happy. I will be keeping an eye on this from now on a lot. Here's Veterans Boulevard, which is a really nice great separation. I filmed it a lot of times. But in a moment, you're going to see that Herndon Avenue. They are building a shoe fly and tracks are being laid for it. I don't know when it'll be done for the shoe fly and the temporary shift of Herndon, but I will keep an eye on it. Here's Herndon Avenue at the moment, and you can see they are prepping the shoe fly. A lot of the track has been laid now. You can see them shifting the road north soon. I don't know when the deadline is, like I said, but hopefully soon. But I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I know it's been a long time. I'm really sorry about that. School has been a pain in my butt these past few weeks. It just school started, and I have a lot of presentations to do, but I'm going to try my hardest to get filming done. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.